of you may be wondering why the thumbnail of this video is a lacy hard drive in a frying pan. Now here is a lacy 1TB hard drive. This is my hard drive for all of 2017 and so far everything of 2018. Now, I started to think if something happens to this, this is the only thing I have. If this crashes, pretty much the best thing this thing can do is sitting in a frying pan. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you guys watching thinking like, wow, how can he only have one hard drive? That is so stupid. You definitely, like I know I should be backing it up on a second hard drive. I am working on that. I'm gonna be doing that soon and buying one soon. Hopefully this holds on for a little longer. There's not a lot of space taken up on it. It might be around maybe almost half full, but it should be good for a little while yet. Some of you guys watching may only just shoot a video and whatever you have on the SD card, that's what you guys edit off of. And then after the video, you delete everything off the SD card and you just have the final video that you put on YouTube and that's all you have. You don't save anything. You don't back up any of the footage that, that for down the road at all. Um, I do save all my videos, every all my pictures, all the raw files, I do keep on here. But this thing, this hard drive, that's the only place these are. They're not on a second hard drive, they're not on like a main system hooked up to my computer, which that's what I am going to be getting. Uh, I'm looking at some of the Lacey RAID systems. I have to do more research on those, but they're more of a home storage item that you can sit right on your desk, hooked up to your computer, and that's where it stays. It stays hooked up to your desktop on your desk and it has 48,000 gigs and you can just keep loading everything into there. And if one of them crashes, the other system will rebuild, slowly rebuild one of the other tiers and it will bring back all of your data if it is lost. These little hard drives, if that crashes, you may be able to send it away, but there is no, there could be a chance that they're not gonna be able to bring any of that data back. So the best way to do it is to upgrade to a RAID system, which I have not purchased yet, but I am looking at them, like I said. So, and I will be doing a review video to let you guys know how that goes once I end up picking one of those up. Now, besides all that, I'm gonna be showing you guys on the computer here just in a second of how I organize my hard drive, how, where I keep all of my raw files, all of my finished files, all any projects that I'm working on, and the way I kind of go through the process of storing all of my data. So even if it goes back two to three years, it's very easy to find and I know exactly where to go and I can find it within 30 seconds to a minute. And it's a very effective way to store and to organize all of your stuff. And it's definitely, I would say, one of the biggest tips to being a good photographer and videographer is just staying organized and knowing where all of your stuff is. It is def that's one of the biggest things, in my opinion anyway. So now, let's get onto the computer and I'm gonna show you guys and kinda take you through my workflow. And by workflow, I mean pretty much an easier word to say for it, if you're not exactly sure what I mean, is just the way I organize all of my footage and all of my pictures. And that's all on here. So we're gonna get on the computer and I'm gonna show you guys on how to set up, if you want to, this is just the way I do it but you may set up your organization on your hard drives just the way I do if you'd like. Uh, it works very well for me. It's very easy to find everything. So let's check it out. All right, so now we're gonna come up here and here's my lacy hard drive. We're gonna click on that. And this is just my layout so far of how I have it. This is all photo and video. This is all YouTube, Instagram. This is special effects. This well. I wouldn't say special effects. This is all music and sound effects. Uh, this is my Lightroom preset packs. These are After Effects transitions. These are Photoshop PNG files like uh, like fire and smoke and all that kind of stuff that I add to all my pictures. So, and here's just some other stuff. This is just for Creative Cloud. But we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna click on Photo and Video. Now you see I have two folders, 2017 and 18. So we're gonna click on 2018. And this is my freelance photo, freelance video. This is all brand work. These are just my personal photos. Here is Taylor's photos, her brother's and my brother's photos. I have, photo I have folders for them because sometimes we just mess around and I do some pictures for their Instagrams and everything, so. And here's some travel photography. I have not gotten to do a whole lot of traveling yet, but hopefully I can be filling up that folder pretty soon. Now, say we're just gonna go here and click on freelance photo. 
the way I have this marked out is this is a Canon 80D and this is my Canon 60 Mark II. So I have everything organized by the camera it was shot on. So let's just click on the 60 Mark II. Here's all the raw files in 2018 with the 60 Mark II. And then here is the final edits with the 60 Mark II that are all finished. They're over here. And you can click on the Canon 80D. Here's all the raw files for the 80D. And then here's all the final edits for the 6D Mark II. Now, if we come back here and click on freelance video, this is the same thing. Uh, I use my Canon 80D with an 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma lens. So that is what I use for video. So that's the only thing I have on here. Here's just two edits. This is the New York edit that I'm working on right now. Here is all, you click on this. This is all the raw footage in there. This is a hyperlapse. So this is all of the hyperlapse photos that are in here. So that's how I have that organized. So if you guys were wanting to do this for yourself, you could click on freelance photo here. Just say, well here, let's go back. We're gonna start from here. Say we're in the year of 2019. So we have a folder and we're gonna start it at 2019. So I would open that folder. I would make new folder, new folder. Cause currently right now I have the Canon 80D and the 6D Mark II. So I would just put 80D and over here we would click on this folder and I would do 6D Mark II. So there I have that folder. Now let's just say we go, it's gonna be 6D Mark II. We just need new folder, new folder. And right here, this is gonna be all the raw files. Come over here and these are gonna be all final edits. So then you come in here, here's your final photos. Here is your raw photos. So if you come back out here, so here you go. 2019, you need something from, you need a picture and you shot it with the 6D Mark II, come in here. You need the raw file because you're gonna do a re-edit of an old picture because you've gotten a little bit better at editing and you wanna make it better. So you click on there, you grab that picture and you can import it to Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever you wanna do with it, but it's there, easy to find. And that Anyways, is about guys, it. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.